Oh, it starts with three seconds. <laughs> That's so funny. All right. Uh, welcome to Podcast Zero of Cardinal Corner. Uh, we'll introduce ourselves real quick. I am Robert. I'm Chase. And uh, wait, you're, you go. Oh, well, you go for it. I go. <laughs> <laughs> we're very new and bad at this. So I'm Chase. <laughs> So we're doing podcast zero today, and what we're thinking episode zero of this podcast will be is we're just going to give you the rundown of what is Cardinal Coroner, like why in the heck did we start a book club, uh, any of the other questions that kind of come with that. We're just going to talk about that, and hopefully that answers questions that people have, or just for record purposes, so that we don't forget what we're doing, we can <laughs> always come back and watch this this podcast. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, just set expectations and kind of talk about how to participate. We get that question a lot too. How do you join yeah. in? So the overview of Cardinal Corner is it's an online book club, which is pretty self-explanatory, but not in the traditional sense. Um, we still choose a book and we still read it and we you know set a pace for about 10 pages a day and people are happy to, to read with us and we encourage that. Um, but you don't have to. Really, our goal is just to learn together um, and to create a system and accountability for us all to continue to learn um, outside of a traditional setting. So, uh, yeah, it's just all about making sure we keep learning and we're all held accountable to to progressing. Yeah, the goal isn't to like make people feel guilty for not reading the book of the book club. I was <laughs> I was talking to some family members. My my family has a book club, and I, I think I was talking to my mom actually, and she was just telling me like that. It, sometimes it's hard. Like if you don't read the book. You feel terrible when you show oh, yeah. up to book club. It's, you know, <laughs> everyone's talking about it and you're like, yeah, I, I love that part, but that's, that's not the goal of this. Like yeah. if you don't read the book, we're kind of the point is that we're going to fill you in. Like we're going to give the best little nuggets from in the middle so that you can get the gist and get like yes. the learning. And that was kind of how it started too, was we were, you and I were having the new year's party just us and our wives we were playing our favorite board game wingspan oh yeah bird and, game. oh yeah bird game <laughs> and <laughs> um we started talking about i think i asked you for book recommendations or something like that i can't remember you, exactly no, you were telling me about the book you were reading and oh then we just started right. riffing about books we were reading yeah we're like oh man you should read this book like you should uh -huh. read that book and we kind of started talking about it. We're like, we should like actually keep each other accountable for these. Cause you gave me a list of like four and I <laughs> yeah, wanted and to read me. all of them yeah. and you gave you a, a bunch. Yeah. Um, but like, we also talked about how it's kind of hard to read sometimes, especially when it's just you to like the book, maybe the book, you know, it's good, but it's not something you necessarily like jump out of bed ready to read, but you know, it's got good insights. We wanted something to keep us accountable. So that's kind of how it started is like. Hey, you keep reading your books. Tell me about them. I'll keep reading my books. Maybe we'll read the same book. And then we got talking. We were like, why don't, what if we just made a book club? That was just us. But we also want to involve others, right? And then you, there's great things that we're learning in these books. So why not, you know, make it something bigger that anybody asynchronously around the world can, you know, join and follow along and hopefully get those like insights as we are. Yes. Well, and what was so cool is these books. We, that we weren't reading together, but they were generating a conversation between you and I. And the book that you were reading was helping me. You know what I mean? Yeah, yeah, And that true. conversation was was really important. And so that's really what the purpose is. It's You don't have to read the book, but the book serves as a focus of our conversation. And we're going to be posting videos about it and and sharing insights from the book and having conversations and sharing those those insights and things like that. So, yeah, uh, yeah, yeah, it was, I remember that, uh, that New Year's, it was fun. It was and, very uh, the next morning I told my wife, Hey, I'm, I'm starting a book club. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> so and it wasn't funny. a new year's revolution resolution either. It was just like, Hey, we had this idea on new year's. <laughs> yeah. So let's just do it now. I, it was the next day we were texting back and forth and we're like, yeah, let's just do it. We'll start <laughs> it. it. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> so funny. Well, and I remember we were talking about the name we we're like, you know, how are we going to name this thing? What's the brand going to be? You know, my background's in branding and we both done a bunch of marketing and stuff. So it was like, how do we position this? And um, of course, we had to rely on something that's always unified you and I, which is birds. Because <laughs> oh, it's literally been as long as we've known each other. Uh, when we met in Washington, we talked about birds. 
then, just appreciating nature, you know. Yes. We just we just loved watching them and we have this random like dream. It's not even a dream, it's a goal. It's, it's gonna, gonna happen. happen. <laughs> We're gonna make a video game about birds in at Absolutely. S- some point. Who knows? Absolutely. Um, so we're like, we gotta involve birds. Oh yeah. And and we would go on hikes in the morning and uh our buddies would just run off ahead of us and, and we would just take <laughs> our like, time, watch the birds. <laughs> We're having a fun time. Look how they fly. Holy. Yeah. Yeah. (laughs) Yeah. So we had to involve birds, and then we were thinking about what kind of birds, and cardinals came up. Cardinals have a a special meaning for me and my life, but they also, cardinal, the word means like of greatest importance. Yeah. Oh, wait, I have the, oh, yeah, it's literally of greatest importance. Fundamental, that's the word. Fundamental. Um, Like a fundamental principle, right? So we're like, we're learning the greatest things in life. We're learning the things that have the most uh, impactful importance and and are fundamental to life. Uh, so let's include the word cardinal um, and have that be the uh, the representation of what we're doing here. And then corner because hey, we're all just we're all just here to have fun, man. We're snuggled in, you know. It, we're, we're snuggled in a bugs. corner. We're reading books. <laughs> we got a blankie on. We got some popcorn. It's no big deal. It's not it's not a stressful thing. It's not no. a if you don't do this cardinal thing, you're you know, that's it's a cardinal sin, right? It's more yeah. of a uh hey, this is to benefit life. It's to add on to life. It's a bonus. Um yeah. so that's kind of where the name and the brand and all that came from. Yeah. And getting like those we've been calling them like knowledge nuggets. I don't know why. That's kind of morbid, <laughs> I guess, when we have a like a bird name <laughs> yeah. like book club, but you know, like getting the the big ideas, right? The the little things that can help you improve, like day to day. And um, I remember when we were kind of having that initial like chat about the name too. We were talking about what is this going to look like, right? Are we going to do a Zoom? Are we like where we just get everybody on? Because we don't live in the same city, right? Um, so we're like, okay, how are we going to do this? Are we going to do a Zoom meeting? Are we going to like read and then just chat in a messaging? format so we had a lot of questions about that and we we kind of ended up deciding to cover all our bases we were like listen book clubs are boring like no one is out there like hey i want to join a book club that may be not be true there's probably people <laughs> that want to join a book club and to you readers out there like <laughs> you love books right yeah but we also like us we're not the biggest readers right yeah. especially you i remember you mentioned to me like reading is hard. I hate it. Like, I hate it. It is hard it's, to read. It's brutal for me. I love writing. I've been writing my whole life, but oh man, reading is tough for me. My mind wanders. Sitting down and being patient is tough. So yeah. I mean, especially like where our generation, we like short form <laughs> video yes. and content is like the, <laughs> the brainchild of, yes. of our generation. And it's kind of poisoned our attention spans, to be honest. And so we kind of wanted to to fill all those gaps. We wanted to be like, okay, if you are at a place, you know, either mentally or where you don't, you're not a reader. Like you, you don't mm-hmm. read books. There are still great things to learn from these books. And I think that's been one of the things that's motivated us as we've been reading is like, hey, we can kind of like read these books, extract those like best bits and then yes. share them in a format that is very accessible. And so we also thought that it'd be really nice if we could do this um after our regular day jobs right we didn't want it to be something that would like interfere greatly time wise into our day yeah so that's kind of why we resolved to just do it let's just do it all online you know we'll post on social media we'll do a podcast and then we'll have a website and an email list whatever format works best for you we kind of have that yes i mean we've also talked about how we're still figuring it out like we kind of we're looking for the best way to provide value to people in all of those platforms, really. Yeah. Um, and so we're still honing in on like, okay, is a daily video going to be the most valuable thing? Should we be emailing every day to like remind people to read? Or is the more valuable thing like podcasts like these where we just talk and we discuss? So it's going to be a learning experience, but that's yeah. how you participate is you just, you watch, you listen. You read if you want to. You don't really have to, but we would love it if you did, and we hope to help people stay accountable with that. One thing that is cool as well is, you know, if you love reading, 
we will keep you accountable and hey, read with us, right? And if you don't love reading, hey, we'll teach you what we're learning and we'll you can still participate in the conversation. I think that's why Discord also is so important. Um, yeah. You know, just having a place to continue having a conversation. Um, but then also people who hate reading but want to read, yes. they can use this as uh, a training camp. <laughs> yeah, for <laughs> real. Build mental toughness, build self-control. Can you learn to sit and read a freaking book in, <laughs> for for fifteen minutes a day? Um, I, that's partly why I'm doing it. I yeah. I want to learn that that consistency and that diligence and and discipline. So it's great. It's for everyone. It really is. Any yeah. any level of learning, any level of participation, they can they can join in. Uh, that, I think that's a great point because even reading is kind of like a lost love for me when I was in middle school, especially I was like, I was a reader. I would read oh, books yeah. like nobody's business. My claim <laughs> to fame was reading the fifth Harry Potter, the longest one in a day. Like I was like, I'm going to do it in a crap. day. It's like 800 pages. So I got up <laughs> oh, at like 6 a.m. and just read the whole day and I did it. <laughs> but oh, then man. like in high school, I just like stopped, didn't read it all. Yeah. And now I've kind of like rediscovered it and I've learned to love it again. But it's kind of been a thing where like I'll share an insight with somebody that from a book that I've been reading and like, oh, that sounds interesting. Like what book is it from? And I'll tell them a little bit about the book and I go, well, how long is that? And I'm like, oh, that one was 500 pages. They're like, ooh, I don't, ooh, <laughs> I don't know about that. <laughs> and I can kind of see that it immediately turns them off from pursuing that knowledge. Like they yeah. were interested, but then it was very daunting. And so yes. it literally is like a training camp. Like. Maybe we can hook you with these little bits of knowledge that we're sharing to where you'll actually go and sit down and read the book and get kind of the, the yeah. full picture. Absolutely. And it's different. It's like, it's different reading the book is what I'm trying to say. You you learn so much more and you get a background and a context that is really important to yeah. internalizing these principles. You know, you learn the author, like you learn their voice. You yes. learn their like, you know, why did they write that? I think that's been a very interesting thing to think about in the book that we've been reading already is like we're reading why we sleep that's like our first book and yeah. i keep thinking about this guy dr walker he seems to stay up very late doing studies <laughs> right i'm like he's risking the man's is risking, risking his life for science <laughs> to teach us about he's a sleep. hero he is that in some ways maybe who knows? absolutely but you know just that that full context i think is really yes. valuable yes it's so funny that you brought up harry potter um that video that we uploaded about, uh, I, I I started when I, and I say, um, reading is not for people who like reading. Yeah. Reading is for people who want to improve. <laughs> and uh, the only comment we got on that was, um, like Harry Potter, like what about Harry Potter books? Like, <laughs> what like about I like love fun Harry... books. What about yeah. fun, like those, yeah, you know, so fiction funny. books, right? Uh, and we, we love Harry Potter. Uh, and you know, our, our book selection is not going to be limited to self-help. Um, it's not going to be limited to uh, these very obvious, like, improve your life books. Yeah. Because one of our values is we believe you can learn something from anything, something really purposeful, something that you can apply and integrate into your life that's going to help you improve. Um, so you know, maybe we won't read Harry Potter, but we'll read about everything. We'll read about all sorts of people and uh, all sorts of principles and passions and like real life experiences, science. stories, exactly like, things like that. It doesn't all. Yeah. I, I saw a comment online the other day. Someone was talking about a self-help book and they were like, oh man, not another self-help book. Right. <laughs> like, and they made a comment that I actually thought was very true. Um, and it's that a lot of self-help books have a similar vibe yes. and it's kind of like a, what's the word? Like a holier than thou, like the, yes. I, I am yes. the one that knows everything. And you will learn from me. Yes. And that that tone can get a little exhausting after a while. And so while we're, we, we'll probably read some books that have that that tone and they really are focused on self-help or self-improvement, whatever you want to call it, I also know that we will break it up. Like we want to have some books that are fun to read, but again, have that lesson, that, that thing that we can learn from a real life story or experience or whatever, right? But... We definitely don't want to get self-help burnout, right? And just yes. be like, yeah. oh, <laughs> we're, we're so bad at everything. We just got to <laughs> constantly be, keep, be grinding and getting better. Yeah. So. Well, it's so funny you bring up that vibe, that, that 
uh, almost pretentious vibe. Yeah. When I was writing my pride guide, my book about uh, eliminating pride and adopting humility, I struggled so much because I was like, I can't be the guy <laughs> telling people that not be prideful. That's so prideful. That's like a tough that's so, spot to be in. It was so awkward. And so I had to set the expectation in the book, like, listen, I'm in the trenches with you, man. I yeah. am just as prideful as you are. Everyone is. And so the goal here is not to, you know, lessen ourselves and to be discouraged and or anything like that. It's just, hey, there's an opportunity to experience more joy. Let's let's delve into that. Let's explore that. And so hopefully we can find books that that do that for us. And whether it's books about art or science or sleep or negotiation, right? It could be anything. Yeah. Um. We'll we'll learn something from it and and be happier because of it. Yeah. Uh, I think um one of the biggest questions that like people have asked about the book club, especially family and friends like that, I've told about it is like, well, why don't you have to read the book? Right. Like, yeah. <laughs> like I know that you are posting like these videos and things, but why not just kind of like make that a requirement per se, or that's just what's expected. If you join the club is like, Hey, you expect that you, you read the book. And again, the focus is on the knowledge. We're not trying to stat pad for lack of a better <laughs> term and like help you read as many books as possible. Um, you know, I really do find joy in sharing something with someone else. That's very brief, just a, a little tidbit of, of information. And if they get that from a video and they didn't read the book, but then they show up and they want to participate in a discussion, welcome, right? Like that's, that's the goal. Um, I think another reason to have those kind of like video or social media format content is I personally am a big time waster and I would love to have a little bit more useful stuff on my timeline. Yeah. And it's hard to get it there sometimes. Sometimes it gets taken <laughs> over by people thinking they're giving you useful stuff, right? <laughs> um, yeah. But just com combating like time wasting and yes. um, mindless scrolling, which is, I think everybody oh, does yeah. it, right? Like it's that's the thing. Um, and so that's why we're not so specific on reading the book, but we hope that you get there, right? Because if you see a post from us and it's like, oh shoot, like I really wanted to read this book and it gets you off of TikTok or Instagram, great. That's, yep. that's I think we'll probably be better for it at the end of the day. Absolutely. And you know, it's not like you or I is, we're not starting this big war against social media. We love no. social media. Uh, it just has to be very purposeful and social media can have so much power and mm -hmm. can make such a huge difference um, if used correctly. That's kind of our goal is just to start injecting goodness into the platforms um, and making people's feeds, you know, not mindless, hopefully. Yeah. <laughs> and this is for me too. <laughs> yeah. Uh, you know, sometimes I literally try to, I start liking things like, oh gosh, I got to see more of this because yeah. the memes and- Flush and, out some uh, of that other stuff, like get out of <laughs> yeah, here. Yeah, <laughs> exactly. So hopefully we can- uh, inject that algorithm a little bit into people's feeds, but yeah. Um, another question we get is like, where should I, where should I follow you? Like you, you're where, on where TikTok. is the book club anyway? Yeah, where like, is yeah. it? Right, it's <laughs> online, but where online? Um, well, th that's the beauty of the the platform, or the beauty of this this um, the way that we're doing this book club is you can really join wherever you want, right? You can if you like TikTok and you're on TikTok the most. Follow us on TikTok and, you know, put the notification thing on and and uh, participate there. T comment and communicate in the comments. Have our conversations in the comments. If, if you like Instagram, do it there. Um, or if you just want to receive an email every once in a while, heck, that's participating as well. Um, it's really whatever platform resonates with you and works best for your learning patterns. I think the best platform is probably Discord. I think, and right now it's a little dry. <laughs> it's a little dry right now. You we're and I are, new. are popping off on there. <laughs> yeah, and we're yeah. we're celebrities in the Discord uh, to each other. <laughs> yeah, uh, oh, we know each other very well in the Discord. <laughs> but the potential there is huge because that's where organic conversations can begin happening. Networking, problem solving, asking for advice, giving advice, uh, talking about insights. Like that is really going to be a great place. So like if, if people are listening right now and they don't know whether to join the discord, just do it. 
And if there's not conversations happening, that's fine. Just wait a little bit. Maybe start something. Yeah, start some if you um, want to. Yeah. But at some point, it's going to start uh, being really productive and really meaningful. Because if we're not going to be in the same room as each other, we can at least be in the same channel. <laughs> yeah. And, and typing to each other. And there's going to be some voice uh, chats and some some video conversations as well. But really, that's that's going to be the, the best platform. That being said, again, uh, whichever platform is best for you, uh, email, TikTok, Instagram, uh, whatever. Even if you just know us personally and you just want to chat with us every once in a while, yeah. like heck, that that works too. Uh, as long as you're reading, you're held accountable, um, or even if you're not reading, as long as you're learning, um, that's that's what matters. Yeah, I would say too. Like if you are interested in reading along as well as like getting these insights from us, it's going to be beneficial to follow on as many platforms as possible. Mm -hmm. um, not just because we want more followers, but because <laughs> you'll see us more often, right? It's like if we're posting an update, I know I've had times where on Instagram, I don't see what someone posts for whatever reason, right? Like who knows, yeah. it just gets lost. And for something like this, where we really do want to keep you accountable, if you would like to be kept accountable for reading, right? You miss us on Instagram and you miss us on TikTok, you got an email, right? Yes. It's, it's yes. kind of like they're backups for each other. <laughs> um, but yes. we do hope that Discord becomes the community hub yes that's where we hope that like if you do just want to chat if you want to meet new people um reach out on there especially if you're scared too i know we both have talked about how being online and like actually posting things rather than just constantly consuming it's a it's a tricky switch yeah. and it's definitely not a comfortable one but i uh i was on a f airplane uh, a couple weeks ago and i watched the movie green book um if you've never seen it have you seen it uh, okay it's really good it's a really good movie it's got uh Vigo Mortensen, uh, Aragorn, okay. Lord of the Rings. Anyway, yeah, yeah. very, very good movie, but a quote in there that literally like stuck in my brain like glue was he says that the world is full of lonely people scared to make the first move. I was uh, like, dang, that is that's true. super good. <laughs> that's that's me sometimes. So yeah. if you are that lonely person, make the first move, especially in a small community like this. Like we're gonna yeah. be ecstatic to see anything, right? We would love to to hear some some insights yeah uh, not that we're desperate we're not desperate for it <laughs> i was gonna say we're waiting does that, anxiously. does that sound desperate are we like i promise i'm not constantly refreshing our <laughs> our accounts i really don't but uh, i am <laughs> i'll tell you what though i am desperate for human interaction sometimes right like Absolutely. i want to meet people i want to hear some yeah. sweet things some experiences and it it actually would you know, make my day to hear like, yeah, someone read the book that we're reading as a book club and they're getting eight hours of sleep now or something like oh, that. Yeah. Right? Oh yeah. Cause it's happening to me, but I love hearing it when it, when it benefits somebody else. Absolutely. Um, I, so, th yeah. I think, sorry to interrupt, but no, I, I just it. think that that's just the most powerful part of this group is an, is the network. It's, it's communicating and resonating off of each other's energy and, and, and resonating off of each other's momentum, you know, and uh, someone throws in the chat, hey, I, I had a huge win. It's like, yeah. dang, okay, uh, I could win too. And hey, let's encourage them and keep winning. And anyways, I, I just think that's going to be the most powerful um, aspect of this book club. Yeah, um, it's not going to yeah, be you I mean, and me, right? Like we're not, right. we're not special, dude. Like we don't yeah. know anything about anything most of the time it seems <laughs> like <laughs> yeah and so having some other real life experience in there yeah we i like what you said earlier how, about how when you're writing your book you really tried to make it feel like you were in the trenches because we are yeah. like this yeah. is this is not a venture for us to like go out and tell people how smart we are this is a like <laughs> i wish <laughs> we we're learning like we are in the trenches yeah. learning and growing every day and it's hard but it's fun when you have other people there with you. And when yeah. you, when someone shares something that you wouldn't have thought about yourself. Um, and so that's, I think this is the most exciting part about it for me is like, we need yeah. people to contribute and join. Um, it's going to like exponentially increase like the value that we receive in the book. Absolutely. Book. And so, and it's yeah, if you were that person that like needs that extra value and connection, like this is this is the place for you to do that. Yes. Yeah, and it's uh, I was just going to say it's free. Yes. Yeah. We we don't ask for anything other than participation. And that participation could be any level of engagement. It could be yeah. consuming, you're just listening or Lurking. you 
yeah, lurking <laughs> uh, in the shadows, the Discord shadows, or even uh, using it as an opportunity to teach something you've learned, something yes. that's helped you and and changed your life. You know, you could really make a difference in someone else's life by being there. But I think you're spot on. Like, this group's really only going to work if people participate. And and we're just providing a platform, and we're like, hey, we're trying to learn. Is there anyone smart around here <laughs> that could come, come, teach, come us? teach me? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, like we're reading these books, trying to find uh, ways to be happier. Is there anyone else who can, you know, help us understand these books and yeah, understand these principles? So, and we've talked about like in the future, um, trying to find artists or not artists. What am I saying? Authors. I guess yes. they are book artists. Can we start calling <laughs> authors book yeah, artists? Yeah, I'm an That's artist. Way cooler. <laughs> Just kidding. No, we want to reach out to like authors of these books that we read and see if they would be interested in coming on a podcast in this format because I think it would be really interesting to get some of those extra things that they didn't think were worth writing or maybe things yes. that they've learned since writing the book. The, a book is a very static media format. They can't go in and edit it very easily without yep. republishing a new edition. So, and not only authors, but like just interesting people or people in the community that we want to to learn more from. Yeah, and people who so, can add on yeah. a perspective that we wouldn't have otherwise. Exactly. So I think that's pretty much it, though. That's like the rundown okay. of what Cardinal Corner is, what we hope it will be. And um, we're really excited. Like, we're super stoked for the stuff we're going to learn, for the people we're going to meet. Um, we chat all the time about this, like how how hyped we are how uncomfortable it is to to like <laughs> do this but it's a good kind of discomfort it is we are in the trenches we were in those yeah. trenches learning and growing yep. so we're super excited to meet everybody anybody and everybody that joins um in the discord on youtube in the comment section in social media various platforms instagram um tiktok whatever right we're so excited to to meet you and learn right next to you so we freaking love you guys we hope to see you soon, and we'll see you later. See ya.